Let somebody praise the Lord. Wherever you are hearing the sound of my voice tonight, I want you to know God has a word for you tonight. If you are ready to receive, shout a big amen. Want to celebrate our dad and mom. Want to bless the Lord for the grace of God in their life. Want to appreciate the calling of God on their life. Come on, put your hands together and bless the Lord. Come on, bless the Lord. Bless the Lord. Bless the Lord. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. We do not take for granted the kind of people they are. I've known Papa and Mama Okonko for the past 40, 47 years. 47 years. And I tell you, when you have a a people like this, who, you can't trace one scandal to them. You can't trace one nonsense to them. You must not take for granted. You must appreciate. You must celebrate. I'm blessed. Put your hands together. I really bless the Lord tonight. Give God a glory. Come on, give God a praise. Bless his name. Oh, bless. Hallelujah. Are you ready to receive tonight? I said, are you ready to receive? What a conference. The name is Jesus. Somebody said Jesus. Name above all name, Jesus. J-E-S-U-S, Jesus. Deliverer of men, Jesus. Every day the same Jesus. You know, for those of you who were born in Christian homes, you may not know the value. But for a man whose name was Ahmed, Ahmed, and his mother was Aisha, and his father is Salau, his brother is Mudashir, and his sister is Khadija, Jesus is precious. Oh, if you really trust, thank the Lord for the name of Jesus. Put your hands together and give God a praise. Bless his name. Oh, bless. Oh, bless. Oh bless, oh bless. Tonight the Lord will minister to you. If you believe it, shout a good amen. You may be seated in the presence of the Lord. You may be seated in the presence of the Lord. The, the crusade they were showing you last year when I came here to preach. I said we were going to a Kurudu to, to preach minister to people and then daytime to distribute. We gave people 50,000 packs of rice, 50,000 packs of beans, 50,000 packs of gari, 100,000 noodles, 75,000 clothings, 10,000 bottles of oil, 10,000 sugar, 10,000 salt, 10,000 buckets, 10,000 soap. We did surgery for 310 people. We gave medicine to 50,000 people. We warmed to 20,000 children. But social media I will not see that. So somebody give Jesus a praise. Come on. <laughs> Next week, Monday, from Monday 25 to Saturday 30th in Ibadan, Liberty Stadium. We are, giving, we are ministering every night. Miracles, healing, deliverance. We're distributing 150,000 packs of rice, 150,000 packs of beans, 150,000 packs of gari, 10,000 bottles of, of oil, 10,000 sugar, 10,000 buckets, 10,000 salt, 130,000 clothes, 100,000 noodles. Tomorrow, we're not waiting for the crusade. We're not waiting. Surgery will start tomorrow for 711 people. And on Friday and Saturday, 29 and 30, we'll be giving medicine to 100,000 people. We'll be lining up 200 doctors, 150 pharmacists, 100 nurses, and we'll be giving their medicine worth 500 million naira.
And we're doing it because of Jesus. J-E-S-U-S. I said J-E-S-U-S. Name above all names. That name will work in your life. We're believing God for 20,000 people to give their life to Christ in the battle. Somebody shout it is possible. We trust the Lord that you will touch life, it will come to pass. If you agree with me, say a big amen. amen. Every time I go to preach, my people come to bring books. If you want to buy, they, they're out there. This one is called See, Hear, Say. It teaches you how to see from God, hear from God, and to see what God says. To be in the prophetic as a Christian is not difficult. As long as you don't go out and you begin to tell people their telephone number. You need to hear God yourself. Praise God. For the young person who is out there, you need a book called The Creative Edge to bless you. This one is from Wilderness to Wonder. There are 12 witness wildernesses in the Bible. Each one of them turned to a wonder. You also turned to a wonder. This Bible is awesome. It has 15,000 prayer points. Matter of fact, we shall be giving 2,500 of those Bibles to pastors in Ibadan and 10,000 books at the conference. I shall be giving them also 190 public address system to village evangelists. 190 public address system to village. It's, it's a new day. And there's a generation rising in this house that will do much more than we did. If you agree, shout a better amen. Today, I came to talk to you about Jesus. I cannot be the opening speaker and talk about something else. I came to talk to you about the limitless Jesus. I want you to know my Jesus is limitless. The Bible says in Psalm 34 verse 3, O oh, magnify the Lord with me and let us exalt his name together. Somebody say magnify. The word magnify is an anachronism, a contradiction. How do you magnify a God who feels all things? How do you magnify a God who is everywhere? How do you magnify a God whom, if you go to the sea, is there. If you go to the land, is there. How do you magnify the God whom David said, where can I go from your presence? If I take my flight to the end of the earth, before I got there, you were already there. But the Bible still says to magnify him. What does it mean to magnify him? It means that this your mouth is not for apple and uh, open salad. This your mouth is not just for food. It is to magnify the Lord. This day, today, I'd like you to know our Jesus is limitless. Somebody scream limitless. Say it like you mean it, limitless. He's limitless because he's wonderful. He's limitless because he's the counselor. He's limitless because he's the prince of all princes. He's limitless because he's the eternal rock of ages. He's limitless because he's the king of kings. He's the mighty, mighty God. He's limitless because when there are kings, all kings bow to our king. He's the Lord of lords. I hope I'm preaching to the right people tonight. He's limitless because he's the Lord of lords. He's limitless because he's the lily of the valley. He's the healer. He's the deliverer. He's the provider. He's the creator. He's the porter. He's the day. Come on, put your hands together and magnify him. He's the day star. He's the cornerstone in your life that holds your life together. The pillar that holds our life. He's the prophet of prophets. He's our savior. There's no other way. There's no other savior. He's the only one. Ah! And Moses said, whom shall I say send me? He said, say, I am. Not I was. Not going to be. Because I am. From everlasting to everlasting. I am the present God always. I am the I am. He's the wisdom of God. He is the head of the church. The governor of the church. The righteous judge, the protector, the rock of offense is our shield. When the enemy comes like, like an arrow to bring your life down, he's the shield that protects your life. No weapon formed against you will prosper. Every mouth that rises against you in judgment shall be condemned. I came to talk to you about the limitless Jesus. He is your merciful God. 
He is your gracious God. He is your faithful God. He is the giver who gave his life. He is glorious in holiness. He is a consuming fire. Ah! The Bible calls him El Elyon. Oluwatotobi. Ah, the Ghanaians call him Onyami Kukruku, Onyami Kakraka, Onyami Mintimini, Onyami Ohunte Huno, Olon Totobi, Olon Wa, Olon Wo, Olon Wa Wa Wo Wo, Okwosi Sine Nyendu, the God that gives life. Come on, put your hands together and bless His name. Many people don't know our Jesus, they have a concept of Jesus. I came to let you know he is Jehovah Rapha, the one who heals you. He is Jehovah Rohi, the one who watches over you. He is Jehovah Jireh, the one who provides. He is Jehovah El Gibor, the God who is mighty. He is Jehovah Shammah, last chapter, last verse of Ezekiel. And the name of the place shall be called Jehovah Shammah, the God who is ever present. When you are in the plain, he's there. When you come down, he's there. When you go through the valley, he's there. When it feels like he's not with you, he is always with you. He is Jehovah who is always there. And he will never leave you. Someone say hallelujah. He is Jehovah Shalom. He is peace himself. For anybody who's troubled today, may you know his peace. I'd like you to say Jesus again. Say it louder, Jesus. He is Jehovah Olam, the God who exists forever and ever. He is not Shango. He is not, he is not Amadioha. He is not Oya. He is the God who is forever and ever. My defender, my redeemer, my comforter. Trinity in council. Ah! The God who is three in one. Some people are confused. They say, are you worshiping three gods? No. Are they one person? No. How can they not be one person? And yet, you have three, but you say they are one. They are coexistent, co-eternal, and co-together. God speaking in heaven. Jesus in the water. The Holy Ghost descending. Three of them in manifestation, yet they are still the same. Holding an egg in your hand, it is one egg. But the shell is not the yolk. The yolk is not the abdomen. And yet it is one egg. I hope I'm preaching to the right house here. Give him some glory. Don't let anyone take away the trinity of, of God from you. That's a problem of Islam. Because in 600 or so AD, when Muhammad met Montanist Christians, they were doubting the Trinity of Christ and they were doubting the divinity of Christ. But Jesus is fully divine and fully human. Anyone who reduces that is a heretic and it's not your brother. Jesus is fully God and fully man. Only a man can weep, only a God can do miracles. Put your hands together and bless him tonight. Come on, give him some glory. If Jesus is something to you, give him some glory. I'm preaching to you tonight about the limitless Jesus. He's my teacher. He's my inspirer. He's my reminder, my invisible God. He is my hope, the hope of glory. He's the lion <laughs> of Judah, or the monkey Judah. <laughs> the lion who when he roars, Every other lion have to be silent. He is the man of war. He is Jehovah Isus Gibor Milchamach. In the Hebrew it says Jehovah Isus Gibor Milchamach. The God who is mighty in battle. Jehovah Isus Gibor Jesus na big man Jesus na big man who no no I'm call I'm small boy 
Jesus na big man. Jesus. Jesus na big man. Jesus na big man. Who no no I'm call I'm sumo. Jesus na big man. Who no no na big man. Now who no no I'm call I'm sumo. Sing it one more time. Come on now. Jesus na big man. Who no no I'm call I'm sumo. Jesus na big man. Jesus na big man. Somebody shout hallelujah. Shout hallelujah. And though he's a man of war, yet he will take the image that doesn't have to have a horn to fight. Lions can fight, but they have no horn. Lambs are gentle, but they have a hidden horn. He has two faces. You look, you see a lion. You look again, you see a lamb. It depends on which one you want to engage. My Jesus is a lion and he's also a lamb. Come on, give him some glory tonight. Give him some praise. Hiya! He's a sustainer. He's a convincer. He's the light of the world. He's a restorer. He's a silencer. A stealer of storms, a proclaimer. Ah! They woke him up and said, There is a storm. And the Bible says, And Jesus said, Stop! Thou art duro. Thou art duro, thou art duro, thou art duro. Thou art duro, thou art duro, thou art duro. Ijito wa layemi. Thou art duro. Thank you very much. From today, that storm in your life comes to an end. I said the storm comes to an end. In the name of Jesus. I said in the name of Jesus. The English language is very limited. The English language said when Jesus rebuked the, the, the storm, the Bible says, and there was great peace. Mm -mm -mm -mm. In Greek, it is mega irene. The peace was mega. Irene is peace, mega irene. Someone is in this convention. After this convention, after all the storm you've been through, mega peace is coming. Mega joy is coming. Mega glory is coming. Mega turnaround is coming. Tell your neighbor it won't be long. It won't be long. It won't be long. My peace is coming. My joy is coming. Stay with me tonight. He's the father of the fatherless. May he be your father. He's the husband of the widow. May he be your husband. Ah, alone the smith of heaven, the one who puts things together and nobody can put it aside. He has put your life together and there shall be manifestations. There shall be manifestation. Shout amen with power. He is the way, he is the truth. He's the life. Jesus Buzo. He's the way, the truth, and the life. Only on Otito Ati. Yes, you name Hanya. She name a chetundunia. But when the Zakasamu, but in by Yesu Beni. Without Jesus, you have no way. Somebody bless him tonight. Come and bless his name. Give him some glory. I feel like preaching tonight. He's the bread of life. May you be satisfied. He's the breadwinner. May he win for you. He's the champion of champions. He's the winner of winners. He's the composer. He's the author, the finisher, the beginning, the ending, the alpha, the omega. He's the glorious one. Fearful in praises. The sleepless God. I pray for you today, he will manifest in your life. He's the ancient of days. He's the ageless God. 
the eternal God, the excellent God, the powerful God, the leader of leaders, chief inventor, convener, compassionate, commander in chief, Jehovah Sabaoth, 183 times in your Bible. His title as supreme commander of battle appears in the Bible. Jehovah Sabaoth. Jehovah Sabaoth. The God who is a God of war. He will take on your battle. He will fight your war. Every hand that has been raised against you shall fail for your sake. Let your amen be loud. He's a worthy king. He's an overseer. He's a molder. He's a shaper. He's a breaker. He's praiseworthy. He's my helper. He's richer than the richest. He's older than the oldest. From everlasting to everlasting, he's always there. Trustworthy God. He's the arranger. He's the composer, master builder. Look at me, look at me. The Bible didn't call you living blocks. It calls you living stones. Because all of us, we get different shape. Stone get different shape. Block get same shape. The reason God called us living stones is because he's bringing different people to trim. But he's building a mighty house. Shout a powerful amen. came tonight to let you know he's older than the oldest he's a master builder he's a master planner he's a master minder hey, hey, hey. as I'm about to put 150,000 packs of rice 150,000 packs of beans 150,000 packs of gari 100,000 noodles in the hand of the poor the hotel I'm staying in is 600 meters just like from here to the road to where I used to sell bread. I said, you this girl, you have a sense of humor. You brought me here so you can show me what you have done with my life. <laughs> he brought me there so I can see how far he's brought me. He took me to the town where the person I lived with Forced us to eat rotten gary for six months. Now I'm putting food in the hand probably of 300,000 people. The radio stations cannot believe it. They said, are you running for political position? I said, I am too lofty to run. Too lifted to run. Too blessed to run. Your story will be better than my own. Your story will be better. 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 Shout amen three times. <laughs> I came to let you know, Jesus, he's the relentless God. Obasa, I tell you. You go one corner, Idadia. <laughs> In those days when they want to advertise, African Continental Bank. How many of you remember ACB? They will say, for this corner, he did there. For that corner, he did there. My Jesus, for this corner, he did there. For that corner, give him some glory. Give him some glory. Hey! Hey, hey! In a nation like Nigeria, Jesus is the voice of the hopeless. He's a beautiful God. The Alpha and Omega. The game changer. Changes lives. He's our refuge. He's our fortress. He's our buckler. He's our born banner. He's our strong tower. Unchanging changer. He's also the rose of Sharon. All in all, pillar of life, firstborn, lamb that was slain, the glory and the lifter of our head. Every head that has been bowing this year, your head will be lifted. 
your hand will be lifted. It's the word of God. <laughs> Jesus said, Now, lawyer said, I will send you another paracletos. The Bible says, There's one who stands at the right hand of God who pleads our case. He's your advocate. When the enemy comes, he will argue on your behalf. And when the enemy thinks you will lose, he's made a mistake. Jesus is the lawyer. Jesus is the judge. So it's a family matter. He will judge in your favor. Shout, I receive three times. Is the lamb that was slain <laughs> when God took Abraham to Mount Moriah to try to slaughter his son? God was playing drama, he was playing Nollywood. So that as Abraham is trying to kill his son, as he looks straight, he's looking at Calvary. God was showing him what you're about to do is a type and a shadow of what I'm about to do. Oh, I pray for you today. Your eye will see the goodness of the Lord. Your eyes will see his glory. J-E-S-U-S. He's the word of God. He's the very embodiment of the word. In the beginning was the word, and the word was with God, and the word was God. The same was in the beginning with God. All things were made by him, and without him was not anything made that was made in him was life, and the life was the light of men, and the light shall... When God said, it was Jesus that went. Elohim spoke. Trinity again in action. Spirit moving, word creating, God speaking. Spirit moving, word creating, God speaking. Co-eternal, co-existent, co-functional. And please in your head, make you know things, the Holy Spirit small. Jesus come big pastor. Ah, Papa God come. Come be. They are co-equal, co-eternal, co-existent. Somebody put your hands together and magnify our God. He's our high priest. You need to be here tomorrow morning. But I wanted to preach tonight. The Holy Ghost wouldn't let me. I'm teaching it tomorrow morning. The order of Melchizedek. Jesus is a priest and a king. It's not allowed in the Bible. Except Melchizedek, Jesus, and you and I. The Bible says we are royal what? We are what? Royal. They know they combine now. Only in Jesus. Priest now priest. Royal now royal. But Melchizedek was the first. Jesus is a high priest after the order. And we now are royal and you should use it every time your prayer. Pray like a priest. Hey, Allah no tongue, Olua Shefumi, Olua Shefumi. Then you turn to a king. When you pray as a priest, you beg, you supplicate, you cry. When you pray as a king, you decree a matter. I anoint your mouth today. You will decree matters. They shall come to pass. In the name of Jesus, shout amen with fire. May you never turn back from Jesus. He's the bishop of our soul. He's the high and lofty one. He's the almighty God, our best friend. On time God on time, always on time. Lion of Judah, omnipotent. Don't mind Yoruba people, they will say omnipotent, omni water. God is not omni, he's omni. 
You say, oh, mini potent, rah, rah, oh, mini water. Our God is omnipotent. Potency means power you have not yet used. So omnipotent means the power where God never brings out self. It's too much. And in your life it shall manifest. It shall manifest. His omnipresence. His omniscient. He knows all things. Nothing is eluded from him. He knows your yesterday, your today, your tomorrow. In case you didn't know, you didn't start March 17, 1952 when you were born. You started in the mind of God. He looked at Jer Jeremiah and said, before you were born, I knew you. Before. Ah! So where was I? Where were me? Like Nigerian English. Where were me? Were me not here? Before you were born, ah, I bow to this God who knew me before I knew me, who knew me before my mother knew me. And look at that verse, and he said, And when before you came out of the womb, I had I machadesh to sanctify in Hebrew is machadesh. Machadesh is to keep something sacred. Tell your neighbor, I'm precious. The Greek is hagiasmos. This pulpit is hagiasmos. We know they sit down on top of it. We know they cook on it. It is makadesh. It is separated for preaching. So are you. You are makadesh. You are separated. You are hagiasmos. You are sanctified from your mother's womb. And before you, ah, death will not kill you. You will not die before your time. Sickness will not take you away. You will achieve your purpose. Fulfill your destiny. Shout amen with power. Consuming fire. Adonai. Beginning and the end. Living water. Mirindu. Living water. The water that quenches your thirst. And gives life to you. Unquenchable fire. The awesome God, ah, the excellency, the battle stopper, unquestionable God, Jehovah Steed Kenu, the God of righteousness, the mighty one on battle, the fearful praises one, mighty man of valor, miracle worker, rock of ages, merciful God, always doing wonders. He's the amen, he's the hallelujah. When you say Hallel, Jah, you know your rubbers will say Hallelujah, Hallelujah. One more, one more, one more journey. It's not Hallelujah, Hallelujah. Hallel, Jah means to celebrate Jah, to make Jah great, to honor Jah. Hallel, Jah. No, hallelujah, Hallelujah. So somebody shout Hallelujah. He's the interceptor. You need to come tomorrow morning. He's the interceptor. When, when Abraham slaughtered those men and collected gifts, king of Sodom, spirit of Sodom, spirit of Babylon, spirit of Egypt, was coming to Abraham to connect with him. Melchizedek stepped into the middle and stopped Sodom, stopped Babylon, and stopped Egypt. You need to be here tomorrow. He intercepted them. Jesus intercepts things you don't know. There are weapons they are forming against you now. It will blow in their face. It will blow in their face. It will blow in their face. Shout amen with power. Why should, you, why should you praise this limitless Jesus? He's your reason for living. He's the fulfillment of the promise of deliverance. He's the author of our salvation. 
Hey, tomorrow you need to be here. Many of us don't know that. We are not in a religion. We are in a kingdom. Somebody say, I'm in a kingdom. And this is Kingdom Life Conference. Christianity is not a religion. It's a kingdom. We have a king. We have order. We have protocol. We have systems. We have our tithe. We have our offering. We have the things we do in that kingdom. Ah! Why should we magnify him? He is in control. Somebody say he's in charge. He's the one who turns weeping to joy. May your weeping turn to joy. He's our refuge. Psalm 91 verse 5. Somebody who's here today, may he be your refuge. He's the gracious God. He's the committed God. He's our source of guidance. Malachi chapter 3 verse 5. May God guide you in the wilderness of life. Shout a bigger amen. He is always the same. Hebrews 13, 8. Jesus Christ the same yesterday and today and forever. Malachi 3, 6. Behold, I am God. I don't change. He is Jesus. He is Christ the anointed. Why should I magnify him? He is preeminently lofty. He is bigger. He is the promise keeper. He is the name above all names. He is glorious. Would you hands together and bless him today. Come on. When people ask you, how do you worship him? How do you magnify him? Always magnify him as the anointed one. Always praise him as the holy one. The one who keeps his promise. His promises never fail. Heaven and earth may pass away. Teaching of his word will not go. He's Joshua's mighty warrior. Dressed for battle. Ah, of our Moses. The rod in Moses' hand that made the sea to part. Is Joshua's commander. When Joshua got to the edge of Jericho, he met one mighty man with a mean sword and said, Ah! Telling you. Telling you. know, Yoruba people can boast, eh? Ah! Come and tell him, telling you, ah! Egba! Telling you! Jesus can't tell him, say, I am the commander of the army I am Jehovah Sabaoth Isus Gibor Melchamach I am Jehovah Sabaoth Isus Gibor Melchamach the Lord mighty in battle he shall fight for you look how we turn that sister story round somebody is in this service your testimony this time next year will be bigger <laughs> Your testimony this time next year will be greater. It's Daniel's angel that seals the mouth of lions. They threw Daniel there. The lions couldn't eat him. <laughs> he was dancing with the angels while the lions were roaring. And when it was over, his enemies were food for lions. He is my king. I hope he's your king. He's the king of heaven. He's the king of glory. He's the king of kings. He's the Lord of lords. Ask your neighbor, do you know him? Ask someone else, do you know him? You don't need a telescope to find him. He's not invisible. You know, there are no barriers that can stop him. My God is enduringly strong. He's entirely sincere, eternally steadfast, immortally graceful, imperially powerful, impartially merciful. He's the son of God. He's the sinner's savior, the centerpiece of civilization. He stands alone. He is honest. He is unique. He is unparalleled, unprecedented. He is supreme. He is preeminent. He is the grandest idea in the world. Put your hands together and magnify him. Jesus. He's the miracle of this age. Critics don't fight other religion. Their problem is Jesus. But they can't stop him. They can't stand him. But there's nothing they can do about him. He is the superlative good in everything. He's the only one that's. 
He takes care of 8 billion people every day. And presidents cannot take care of 200 million. But he takes care of 8 billion every day. Put your hands together and bless him tonight. He's the supplier of all our needs. He's available to the tempted. He's there for the one who is tried. If you are weak, he's standing by you. He's the almighty God for the strong and he's the gentle one for the, for the, for the least. He heals the sick. He cleanses lepers. He forgives sinners. He discharges debtors. He delivers the captives. Jesus. Feeble people, he defends them. Young people, he said, put them on my knees. Once you be a woman, they talk. And they brought little children to him and he said, Rebuke them not. For theirs is the kingdom of God. Any man children can hang around is a good person. That's my Jesus. Come on, celebrate him tonight. He serves the unfortunate, he regards the aged, he rewards the diligent. He beautifies the meek. He's the king of knowledge. <laughs> At the age of 12, he held doctors bound for three days. Ah! The doctors were looking at his mouth. At the age of 12, he is the wellspring of wisdom. May it enter into you. What you need is wisdom. Some people get knowledge. They don't get wisdom. May wisdom enter you. He's the doorway of deliverance. He's the pathway of peace. He's the roadway of righteousness. He's the highway of holiness. He's the gateway of glory. The master of the mighty. The captain of the conquerors. The head of the heroes. He's the leader of the legislature. He is the overseer of the overcomers. How many overcomers are here tonight? Put your hands together. Give God praise. Come on. He's the governor of governors. The prince of peace. His office is manifold. His promises are sure. His, his light is matchless. His goodness, limitless. His mercy, everlasting. His love never changes. His word is enough. His grace, sufficient. His reign, righteous. His yoke, easy. He's indescribable. Incomprehensible. Invisible God. Irresistible God. The heavens cannot contain him. The earth is his footstool. You can't get around him. You can't get over him. You can't outlive him. You can't live without him. The Pharisees could not stand him, but there's nothing they can do about him. Oh, I lay hand on you today. Those who can't stand you, there's nothing they'll be able to do about you. You will always be blessed. You will always be lifted. You will always be lifted. Herod will not be able to kill you. Death will not be able to handle you. <laughs> and when he died, they rolled the stones. They did everything. But on the third day, Latiboji Ojinde Pelushegu Loriotare Up from the grave He arose Ah! Death could not stop him The beer where Satan don't order Fill all the fridge where they hell Say then go celebrate son of God Where they don't chain down They don't know say One power will come Romans 8, 11, that will break that chain. And the Bible says, the power of God rose Jesus from the dead. And that power that rose him from the dead shall walk in your life. It 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 shall walk in your life. If you believe my Jesus, give him the biggest clap offering you can put together. I'm going to close very soon. I'm going to close very soon. But this is a conference about Jesus. Permit me to say you can't impeach him. 
and he's not going to resign. Somebody say, that's my king. Everything belongs to him. All power belongs to him. Thine is the power and the glory. For thine is the power and the glory forever and ever. Come and glorify him. If you believe this, Jesus, give him a better clap of him. Give him a bigger clap of him. Magnify the Lord. Celebrate his name. His name is Jesus. J-E-S-U-S. I'm about to pray for you in that name of Jesus. Are you ready? I'm about to make declaration into your life. Are you ready? 52 years now that I've been following him. Got born again in 1972 as a Muslim young man. Ah! I've seen his hands. I've seen his power. So whatever is declared tonight shall come to pass in your life. Wherever you are, say amen with fire. Your enemies will be scattered. The earth will tremble for you. The sea saw him, they flee, they will flee for you. Mountains will bow for your God. The sun and the moon will stand still for him. Nations and kingdoms will bow to your God. The horse and the rider will be thrown into the sea for you. The heavens will drop beautiful rain on you. Terror, amazement will grip your enemies. Confusion, commotion will be in the camp of the enemy. Everyone who has ashes, beauty will replace it. Anyone who has been crying and mourning, joy will replace it. The earth will yield our increase for you. As we have magnified his name, the Bible says that when Paul began to praise the Lord, the prison doors open from tonight. Anything called a prison door in your life, it opens in the name of Jesus. You are free from today. The chains are broken. The shackles are broken. Prisoners are coming out. Captives are set free. Victims will become victors. The conquered will become conquerors. Impossibility will become possibility. Your eyes will see the goodness of the Lord. Doctor tell you, say that thing cannot be reversed. By the anointing of our daddy in the house, and by the oil that is upon Trent, and by the grace that is upon this conference, and by the word of the Lord tonight, what they said is irreversible. We command it to be reversed. What they said is impossible. We command possibilities. We command possibilities. We command possibilities. We command possibilities. Hungry lions that have been pursuing you, they will bow to your God. Fiery furnaces will become air conditioned room. Pharaoh and his people will drown in their own Red Sea. Somebody is here today. You've been dealing with deserts. Your desert will begin to bring forth water. Your desert will bring forth roses. Water will gush out of your rock. Miracle will visit your house. Testimony will visit your house. Somebody hear me tonight. Your level is changing. Your level is changing. Your level is changing. Receive uncommon success. I declare to your life tonight, you will break new grounds. You will receive visitation. People will see the hand of God in your life. Favor will come upon you. Your breakthrough will delay no more. Every major breakthrough in my life, has been traced to somebody God used. There is a valley helper. There's a man, a woman, small or big, young or old, that will take you where your treasure is. Connect in Jesus' name. Connect in Jesus' name. Promotion will overtake you. Opposition will give way. 
your steps will be ordered. Stretch your right hand out. This hand will handle success. This hand will handle abundance. Your name will be circulated for favor. Stumbling blocks will be removed. You will become a testimony. You will recover lost favor. Doors of help is opening. Doors of favor is opening. Doors of testimony is opening. Doors of breakthrough is opening. From today is a new season. It's a new day. It's a new season. It's a new day. If you believe it, shout yes three times. Now give God the biggest praise you can muster tonight. Come on, give God the glory. Give God the glory. Give him the glory. Bless his name. I command miracles to begin to happen. Healings to begin to happen. Your body to receive healing. Eyes to begin to see. Ears to hear well. Your body to receive strength. Where they say you could not enter before, the door begins to open. This conference will be loaded with the hand of God. With the favor of God. With the grace of God. With the blessing of the Lord. I see doors before some people tonight. I command those doors to begin to open. I command those doors to begin to open. Doors be open. Doors be open. Doors be open. In the name of Jesus. Shout amen three times like fire. Look at your neighbor, tell them you won't be long. You are bringing an uncommon testimony. Look at your neighbor, say, it won't be long. It won't be long. It won't be long. You will testify. You will testify. Give God a bigger praise, come on. Sit down, sit down, sit down. Are you blessed tonight? If you are in this service and there's never been a day you received Jesus as your Lord and Savior and you're saying, Pastor Matthew, I, I don't know say Jesus big like that too. I want to really, really know him. I don't want to die and leave this world without him. I want Jesus to come into my heart. So you said you'll be Muslim before. I won't give my life to Jesus. We are such a person. I'd like to pray for you. I'd like you to raise your right hand and to be sincere with your prayer. You want me to pray for you? Say, Pastor Matthew, please pray for me. I want Jesus to come into my heart. Raise your right hand quickly wherever you are. I want to pray for you. I want to pray for you. I want to pray for you. I've seen those hands. I've seen those hands. I've seen those hands. Everyone who's raising their hand, I want to meet you personally. I want you to come out, come out, come out, come out, come out. Everyone who's raising their hand, come out here. Come out here, come out here. Come out, come out, come out. Come out, come out. Come, come, come. Get out of your seat, come. Come, come, come. Come! Wani ba ti jesun pe o Wa ma ni no e she mo Wa tu bo bo un to de o Wa vere re je this guy must be from old school. Jesus, but I know Vicky. It's our door. As you do, who don't hear? We got Jesus. 
All of you, my friends, we're in front tonight. This is the most important decision that you will ever make. Most important. That's what turned my life around when I received Jesus. So I'm going to ask you to say a simple prayer. Everyone in the church today, I want them to say that prayer. But you in front, I want you to mean it more. Say with me, Lord Jesus. Lord Jesus. I'm sorry for my sin. I ask you to come into my heart. Jesus, Son of God, have mercy on me. Come into my heart. Come and live in my heart. Help me to live my life for you. I receive you today as my Lord and Savior. Wash me with your blood. Cleanse me with your blood. I receive you today. In Jesus' name. Father, I pray for this man and woman, for the young ones also, that they will be true to the decision they have made. They will truly stand for Jesus, live their lives for Christ, and their lives will honor Jesus. In Jesus' name. I want you to say amen, all of you in front. If you came to church with any challenge, problem, sickness, from today, God turns your life around. God will give you a testimony. God will turn your life around. In Jesus' name.